History is a tale told by the victors. Who are the victors? Barbaric warriors, mad kings, and greedy traitors. Maybe most of our history is made of fables fabricated by those glorious victors. This is the story of Countess Elshabit Bartri. Not just as history remembers her, but also how I remember her. Countess Elshabit Bartri was born into one of Hungary's most illustrious families in 1560. Your future wife. She was promised to Ferenc Nadeshi at birth. Elshabit, come here. They stole a horse that he served to be punished. History tells us that from a very early age, Ashabit learned to be fearless. Unfeeling. Curious. This seed will turn into a big tree one day. And pitiless. in the ground, they do not grow like seeds. A seed is alive, whereas people we bury in the ground are dead. But if we bury them alive? They suffocate and die. So we get eaten by worms? The body melts away, but the soul passes on to heaven or hell. You will go to heaven just like your papa. The soul is eternal, my dear. If it was not, I would have to raise an army to conquer death. He's so lovely. I want him to be my husband. When he reaches marrying age, you will be old and born. Count Nadashi will be your husband. <laughs> I beg you not to harm him. I love him, Mother. Learn that the only love you shall feel is to our Lord. You should respect your husband. But as for peasants and servants, you must never fornicate with them. Your peasant will die as he deserves. And you will stay in your room, so no one knows of your silly mistake. <coughs> it is a boy. Please. But mother, my child. She was married to Ferenc Nadashi at 15. Her mother died soon after. Ejabit managed her estate masterfully. Soon, many noble families, from the kingdoms of Bohemia to Poland, were indebted to her and her husband. She even lent large sums of money to the king himself. She gave Nada she three children. The first child was born ten years into their union. She hardly spent any time with her husband. In less than fifty years, the Turks had slaughtered and enslaved half the population of Hungary. Nadashi and his men were the only warriors they feared. Ajibit founded a hospital for the poor, but Bad Tong said that many of them never came out alive. Though a devoted Protestant, Ajibit believed in many heretic theories. Davulia, who some claimed was a witch, managed Ajibit's wealth so well that some believed she knew the recipe for making gold. The combination of Nadashi's military prowess and Ajibit's intelligence and unbending will quickly made them the most feared, respected, and powerful family in the kingdom. Good afternoon, my king. 
Good afternoon, dear Count Noroshi. Your Majesty, I have come to demand my pay for this last year of war. Of course. Uh, you're welcome to stay for a few days, if you wish, while we gather the amount. We're having executions all day tomorrow. Mm. Unfortunately, I have no time to wait. I must leave before nightfall. What a shame. Half in gold and half in taras will do. Good day, my king. A gift from the king. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> With what he still owes us, he should have gotten me the Holy Grail. <laughs> Do my pay. Good. Leave. And... Oh, thank you, Dad. I feel a bit sick. It is the wine. My head it hurts. Away. You're burning up. Let me get Dad Volia. She will surely have a good remedy for you. I do not need the help of Satan. <laughs> Beautiful morning light. I'm sorry, dear, but he's gone. Count Ferenc Nodashi was a good husband and father, but above all, a great warrior. Today he is standing joyfully with Jesus at the right hand of God. Soon we will be with him at their side for eternity. I have sent the soldiers back to war. You will let Ancodi cheer while I'm gone. I must bring the children to a safer place. And shall the court Firenze's death has not weakened me. Are we ever coming back, Mother? Of course. But for now, you will stay in Vienna. You will learn music, French, and Latin with the best teachers. And Aunt Clara will take you to see plays and fireworks. Fireworks? Yes. You see, it is essential to pay soldiers well. I know, dear Countess. But the peasants who escaped the slaughter are dying of hunger. Please, have patience and allow me to pay you later. It would be difficult Should to Should I assign you. a guardian to manage your estate? You know I disapprove of a widow handling her lands alone. I can manage perfectly well. You know my husband had little to do with such matters. Well, then you can sell some land, hire younger men, and pay them less. I'm not too keen to impoverish my estate and send children to war, but if you demand it, I will. I will keep the Turks out of what is left of Hungary, no matter what it costs me. You are my best ally. I've heard the Baron of Arada is often sick. Some say his little wife. Dear niece, I'm delighted you decided to leave your little angels with me. It would not be fair to keep them at cottage. Your husband's death must have been a dreadful shock to them. Indeed, to die so fast and in bed. He probably caught a shameful illness from one of those Turkish whores. Last time my husband visited from the battlefront, his little skin dagger almost fell off. Not a great loss from what you've told me. <laughs> Dear Countess Battery, I heard the king owes you so much for Nodashi's years of war that he could not afford to pay you for more than a year. Yes, the king owes me a fortune, which is to my advantage. But might he not perhaps take offense at such wealth, since you are a Protestant? Our king openly tolerates Protestants. Thank you, Count Turzo. 
It is my right not to share my possessions with the Catholic Church. For centuries, your friends in Rome have orchestrated countless murders of innocents, especially women. Your words surprise me. Are you defending witches, Countess? Please! This conversation is boring me. I apologize. I was just asking the Countess about her admirable wealth. Ne pose pas de questions si tu connais déjà la réponse. <laughs> My little niece knows six languages, including ancient Greek. Is it possible for a woman's mind to be sharper than a man's? Of course it is. But I have heard that their emotions always get the best of them, so their intelligence is ultimately wasted. I agree that most women are weak, and it is in the area of the heart that the weakness seems to lie. A man's weakness is located in a lower place on the body. A somewhat less noble part. <laughs> I think men and women are both equal and different. Well equal? That's true. That is a very bold statement. You do not listen, Bishop. My cousin said, and different. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. What are your weaknesses, Countess? I am a woman. I love beautiful dresses and gold jewelry. Just like you, dear Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure the woman at Kodice can manage your estate wisely? Darvulia is young, but she has been more than wise in maintaining my wealth. She's the most knowledgeable woman in the land. After you? Of course. I have heard you earned a large amount of money recently. Yes, a very profitable transaction. It did cost the life and freedom of many Bohemian peasants. Everything has its price. Turkish lines are quite near your castle. Indeed. Don't you feel endangered to stand alone near the wars? I'm not alone, and the war is my duty. Have you considered remarrying? Our union would make us the most powerful. Dear Georgi, you know very well it would be improper for me to marry you. Your account by marriage, whereas nobility has been in my blood for centuries. I know, dear cousin. All I'm saying is, if you feel yourself in need, you can always count on me. What matters is that we're all united against the Turks. Of course. We must leave for the ball, Erschebet. Dear Count, will you join us? Unfortunately, I'm leaving for Prague early tomorrow. What a shame. Have a good journey, then. Did he dare to ask you? Of course. I knew it. He insisted on coming. I'm not fond of his manners. He's always wearing last year's fashion. Do not marry him. <laughs> Safe journey. There's a French doctor I want you to meet. He would like to visit your hospital. Are you sure? I'm afraid it has become more of a mass grave than a hospital lately. Also, there's an astronomer who says the Earth is not moving in a circle around the sun, but all over the place. Maybe that is why I've been so dizzy lately. Countess Elizabeth Battery. Enchanté de faire votre connaissance. Moi de même. Et je suis très intéressé à visiter votre hospice, madame. Mais bien sûr, quand vous voulez. Excusez-moi. Je would not happen to know who that young man is. Istvan Turso, Georg's only son. He moved back to Vienna recently. He was a child just yesterday. Yesterday? Then do not wait too long. He might grow old and bored before the night is over. Clara. Istvan, we had dinner with your father, but unfortunately he could not join us for the ball. I would like you to meet my little niece. I do not think I've had the pleasure of meeting you before. Uh, would you excuse me? Pleased to meet you, Count Turzo. I knew your late mother quite well. She was lovely. I'm Countess Battery. Countess Ashabit Battery? Yes. What have you heard about me? That everyone respects and fears you. Forgive me. I do not object to being feared. Do I inspire fear in you? Not at all. I'm so very honored to meet you. And are you? I'm awfully sorry about Count Nadashi. It was a dreadful Next shock stands. to me and my children. 
Might be ill-mannered to ask, but does your widowhood forbid you to dance? No. You're a good dancer for one so young. I'm not that young. I'm 21. Oh, 21. Would you care to dance the next one? I need a moment to myself. So? He's to my taste. Much more exciting than his father, isn't he? Are you going to have an affair? Perhaps. You must. Every word he speaks seems so sincere. Well, he might be sincere. Ever since his mother died, he has been very devoted to his studies in Krakow. The Italian countess he was about to marry died before they even met. Now his father has found him a new wife in Denmark. Ishwan has spent very little time at the court. You mean he still has a chance to go to heaven? He has not yet been corrupted by power? A genuine and virtuous young man. How lovely. What are you looking at? I'm sorry. Do you find them pretty? Pardon? My lips. Yes, that is... Do you uh, wish to kiss them? No. No. Well, yes, but... Then why do you not? In front of everyone? Do you care? shaking I do not know you must rest I do not believe I will be able to rest until we meet again I have to write back tomorrow may I see you early so I can spend every moment with you before you leave every moment it is only because I know what I feel you can meet me at my aunt's villa before noon thank you I must go before I lose my mind. Wait. Do you have to go? Since we will meet in the morning, and we only have less than a day. I know what we've done is sinful, but it does not feel wrong in my heart. My heart feels warmer than ever. Was I careful? 
You have nothing to worry about. Kissing you feels like making love to you. And making love to you feels like... Like what? I cannot find words to describe it. Is it not strange to think, as we're enjoying ourselves today, warm in each other's arms, others are dying at war? We're all in the hands of God. Let us rejoice we're not the ones dying at war today. It is morning. I ought to leave soon. Must you travel today? I have many matters to attend to, could you two? War is a messy job for a lonely woman. I understand. I will have my valet bring you a letter every week. Until we meet again. Careful, they cost me a fortune in Vienna. I had this one made for you, my dear. I have so much to tell you. I had an affair with a young man, it was so lovely. Good. Be careful with the dress. You have more of that ointment to make my skin softer. Softer for that young man? Lust. It will gain you nothing. It is not lust. Not this time. I have never felt this way. Even when I was a girl. I thought you were strong. That really I love is not a sign of weakness. It is the most noble feeling known to man. Assuming he is one. You should see his skin. So soft, so perfect. Is it him you are fond of? Or just the texture of his young skin? Do not be a witch! How old? Twenty-one. Who is he? Istvan Turzo. His father wishes for their bloodline to be tied to mine. Are you planning on asking for his hand? Keep him as a lover if you wish. But do not forget your rank. He's 21 while you're soon to be 39. He's very mature for his age. Of course he is. Elizabeth, young people change their mind all the time. He can have any woman. I'm not enjoying your company today, you old hag. I'm your servant as always. But I remind you that I am younger than you. Enough. Time has no respect for beauty. Countess, a letter. I shall bet you know I will marry soon. Yes, I have heard. It hurts me to even think I could touch another woman. He shall marry her, have children, and be my lover always. But I will be so far away that I want to be only yours. No other woman could mean anything to my heart. 
Do you hurt? Yes. I've never felt this way. Is it a sin to love someone in this manner? When I am with him, I feel joy and beauty. And when I am away from him, I feel pain, as if hundreds of daggers were tearing apart my entire body. His soul is in a better place. Whose? Count Nodashi's. Of course. It is such an honor to have you pray in our humble village church and thank you again for your generous donation. It is nothing, Father. God has given me so much. Countess, you shouldn't be out here. It's so cold. I'm waiting for a letter. Must be a very important letter. Very. What a beautiful dress. What's your name? Pola. Here. Take it. No. It's yours. Go now. Leave the Countess alone. It has been over a week, and I have not received his letter yet. You have to be careful what you wish for. Your two destinies could be tied in a manner that you do not expect. It is my desire. And more of the magic works soon. Gold is not the main thing that binds me to you. And you can spend your nights with me. I will need something of his. Something he gave you, preferably. Just for tonight. My beautiful love. What a fool I was to worry. Your messenger had simply been delayed. He will meet me at the Von Varad Ball in a week. I shall leave tomorrow. So soon? I will visit the children. Dear Countess, you look even more resplendent than in the paintings I've seen of you. I'm Count Dominic Bizogna. A flatterer is a secret enemy, I've heard. Is seduction merely one of your hobbies or your life's main occupation? Forgive me for intruding, but you seem somewhat morose. I suppose I cannot hide my emotions very well. Can I help you feel better in any way? I'm afraid the reason for my pain is incurable. Then it can only be that horrible sickness called love. Surely this person does not deserve your love if he's capable of hurting such a gracious woman. A nobleman is looking for you, Countess. I missed you so. I will not be able to see you for long tonight. I have important matters to deal with. This late? What is it? I wish to leave Vienna with you tomorrow at midday. Where to? To your castle. I would like to stay with you. Very well. I could visit my children early. What? I will be with you no later than midday. I promise. 
Wait. If there is a reason for your haste, you're not telling me. I must know what it is. Is it that you do not feel the same as you did a month ago? I do feel the same. The next few days will prove my true devotion. <laughs> your Countess, he's not worthy of your love. You're wrong about him. Will you like company tonight? Do you not see the lines on my face? I have no time to play. Good night. Dear Ishvan, I have waited and you have given me no sign. Young people often change their minds because they think they have all the time in the world. Often death takes us before we have had the chance to taste love. Because when love was right in front of us, we were too busy looking for it elsewhere. Please tell me I was not fooled and that your feelings were true. No right to keep me in this room. You disobeyed me and met with her again. She has been waiting for me since yesterday. I found out about your foolish plan to escape with her. She has countless minions. You are just one of many, my son. I do not believe she feels the same about me as she does about her other lovers. You got what you wanted from her. Everything that is conquered is destroyed. Conquered? The goal was to honor a Countess Badri. Yes, the goal was reached more than once. But unlike you, I do not see anything destructive in the act of love. We're not talking about a land to conquer or a competitor who must be bested. We are talking about a kind woman and the very noble feeling we share. The same noble feeling that you share with Baroness von Krausch? You know very well that I have not seen von Krausch since I met Ashabit. I do love her father. Love is a myth to keep the minds of young peasants and the virgins occupied with a dream. It has no place in our world. In your world? I do not understand you, though. It would be very beneficial for you if I married Ashabit. So you could grant me a tiny portion of her land? She will never marry you. Your blood is not noble enough. You are leaving today for Denmark. I will not. Would you like to know how grieved the Countess is? She is already in the company of Count Wieshagner. You know his reputation? That is a lie. They met two days ago and they have not left each other since. You have already been forgotten. If you are wise, everything that is mine will be yours one day. Have a good journey. Guards! These men will stay with you in case you decide to disobey me again. My father had arranged my marriage to the daughter of a wealthy Danish trading partner. I was married to Hannah Argusen against my will. It was only years later, on his deathbed, that my father confessed to me some of the truths about Ashbit. But I arrived so late at his side that I could only understand a few words between his screams. I heard just enough to realize that what is known about the Countess is made of many lies. In fact, almost all I know about her from that day on, I was told. Waiting for an answer. 
I'm so honored you have agreed to spend time with me. And surprised you wish to ride. Which part of the kingdom were you born in? In the castle of Bekov. There are amusing rumors about that castle. A noble family that only lives at night and eats newborn, so I've heard. <laughs> it is because of a skin condition that afflicts most of my family. We're not fond of the sunlight. But do not worry, I do not feed on newborns. <laughs> Have you read that book about Turkish customs? They drink the blood of all boys to take on their strength. I have not read it, but I'm not surprised to hear such infamy. Your young friend was in such a hurry the other night. Yes, and I have not heard from him since. I'm concerned he might have gotten hurt or... I saw him just this morning, near St. Nicholas with a friend. He seemed quite well. A friend? Yes. A woman? No. She was too young to be called a woman. Probably his little sister. He has no little sister. Oh. Maybe you were right about him. I did not even get a word of apology. Making me wait all day. <gasps> you old witch! Your repulsive look scared my horse! Powerful now, but soon you will look like me. And then you shall see. How dare you! Out of my sight! Countess. You cannot let someone who insults you in this manner go unpunished. Did someone bring your letter while I was away? No, Countess. This dress makes me look old and worn. I wish to change, now. I wish to pray and fast until he answers my letter. Leave me to myself. Dear Lord, why are you banishing me? How can you give me this beautiful love and take it away from me so fast? Water alone will not keep you alive very long. Erzabeth, it has been three weeks. If you let yourself die, what will happen to your lands and children? I do not know. I do not understand how a strong woman can fall for such a weak young man. He's not weak. He's pure and kind. Before I met him, my life was meaningless and I had no idea. Bills from Codice. The Countess is ill. Ill? Some say she's gone mad. She is heartbroken. Istvan? Your silly love affair might in fact serve us in some way. I thought it would be wise to take a hold of these. Although it was at no small cost. Soon my son will dwell fully in melancholy. He is naturally like his mother. He has inherited so little of my character. What I want is proof of her lunacy. At any cost. I shall kill him! He just to play with me. Who is he? The son of a whore and a parvenu. 
He wrote about a young married woman, the Baroness von Krasch, only 17 and very pretty. He says he loves her more than anything in the world, that his heart could only be hers. He writes that he's sorry, that he mistook his feelings of admiration and respect for love, that I reminded him so much of his late mother. Look. Smooth and flawless. Even if she smells like horse shit, any man would choose her over me. Elizabeth, forget about him. I beg you. How? A man dressed in black is at the door, asking for you. A young man? Count Dominic Vizagna, he says. Should we let him in? Of course. I wish to see him alone. What brings you here so late? I do not like to travel during the day. You frighten my maids. All my soldiers are at war. We're careful about who we let in here. I have brought you that book on Turkish customs I was telling you about. You traveled a long way to bring me a book. It concerned me to hear nothing from you since that afternoon. I have been quite busy. The truth is, I could not wait any longer to see you again. <laughs> Let me show you other ways of using this belt, and on someone who might find it more suited to his taste. When my father first told me of the nature of her liaison with Dominic Vizagna, I could not believe she was capable of such decadence. Did you truly enjoy that? <coughs> yes. How can you? You do not know because you do not have a taste for receiving pain. Did you enjoy inflicting it though? I'm not sure. I wish to be a servant, always. I'm not young and foolish, I mean what I say. I wish to be alone. I came to tell you I do not like the man that visited you in the night. I was such a fool to believe in Ishvan's love. I was just too old to be loved. That is not true. Maybe I should never have shown my face to him in the daylight. Look at me. I'm rotting. She was right. Who? The old witch in the park. She put a curse on me. Or is it that your ointments are no longer effective? Make something that works! Egypt, I will not have you talk to me in this manner. What are you looking at? Come and brush my hair. enough my face is wrinkled now you want me to be bald like an old man look at what you've done
Leave. Leave. No one knows if what she saw in the mirror was because the soft morning light had merely illuminated her face in an unusual manner, or if her reason had weakened. Thank you, my lord. You can stay at the castle. We will take care of you until you're healed. This is for you, from the Countess. <laughs> the Countess is a good woman. I did pull her hair a bit too hard. Georgia, Susanna needs you down in the kitchen. How old are you, my child? Sixteen. Where's your family? In Novaki. That's quite far. Do you see them often? I visit once a year. Are you a virgin? Yes, Countess. Uh, of course. Is completely healed. I told you to remove the scab every time. I did, but it healed anyway. Darvulia, come and have a closer look. Oh, I do not see any difference. Nonsense. Helena, Dorotea, what do you see? It looks smoother to me. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes. It is the Lord's answer to my prayers. Not only the look, but the feel of my skin is incredibly different. As if I were younger. I believe it is because she is a virgin. The purity of her blood seems to be the reason why it is working. It is a true miracle. It's for your own good. Kill you. Almost. I felt the cold breath of death and I saw two doors opening to a bright light. You mean heaven was opening its doors to you? I doubt you will go to heaven with your inclination for these games. In fact, I'm sure to go to hell. So why not do exactly what I wish during my time here? I'm so fond of you that I could not stay away from you for more than a week. After my behavior toward that old woman, I thought you might have been frightened of me. On the contrary, that old witch deserved to die. You were too kind. For a while, I thought she had put a curse on me. I looked so old and worn. You look exceptionally ravishing tonight. Tonight more than the other night. Yes, more than the day we met. 
more than our afternoon in the park. Tonight it seems the sun itself is glowing from under your skin. Now that I look closely, it is quite magical. Tonight you look no more than 20 years of age. I know. What is happening? You are giving me something beautiful. Something I had lost. But when will it stop? When you are empty, my child. It is God's will. It is said that this is how the murder started. To achieve her mad pursuit of eternal youth and beauty, she needed fresh blood. More and more. God, is it wrong to want to stay beautiful and young? All around you is beauty. If only Istvan could see me today. You seem to be the only one that cannot see the blood is working. Fortunately, Dominic was there to notice how different I have looked ever since I started. I would not trust the word that comes out of his mouth. Will you stop this before it is too late? I tried to stop, but I already felt less alert. Then I applied the blood again and I felt an incredible strength invading every part of my body. The blood is not making you any younger. On the contrary, you're starting to smell of death. Leave. Your vanity will be your undoing. And your impudence will bring yours. Leave and never come back. No. I care too much. Is it true that you have shared love only with women? That makes you a virgin, then. There have been so many maids dying at the castle lately. They were clumsy little geese. Some cut themselves while cooking and got sick. Others fell down the stairs. Here. Thank the Countess for me. We shall stop bringing the girls to the church. Mm -hmm. I know. The Countess wants to give them proper burials, but above all, the Countess wants fresh blood. Quite an invention. I want to make sure the witches around here are bled before they are burned. I've heard the moisture in the body keeps them from burning on the inside. It is said the cage allowed her to bleed the girls more effectively, with very little blood wasted. The murders quickly multiplied. Witnesses said she used up to ten girls a month. I wrote Ashabet many letters, but never received one from her. After I was assured of her affair with Count Vizagna, I stopped writing and resigned myself to my fate. What a stunning jewel. It matches your beauty. A token from King Matthias for my army's many victories. It must be exhausting to deal with the war. Indeed. 
and it is costing me a fortune. It is a shame that a beautiful woman has to worry about such matters. After all, it is said that the Queen of England lost her looks just because of her war with Spain. Hmm. Do you care for me? No. You're not beautiful enough. Your features are almost like those of a Turk. Oh. Not like Istvan. Do not say his name. Would you like me to kill him for you? Is he back? He's visiting Vienna with his wife. So, should I be his death? No. What are you looking for? I thought the Countess had sent you away. I come here at night to watch over her. Mm. Make sure no harm is done to her. You are a rat. I know who sent you. I'm just here to please the Countess. No. You are here to flatter her worst side, her cruelty. You're quite a beauty. I did not know witches could have such pretty features. Do not touch me with your poisonous hands. Not poisonous. Soft and loving. If you come back, you will die. I will die? How will I die? Will you ask Satan for his gracious help? Countess Bartry is the one who keeps you from being burned at the stake. But now it is clear that she's more fond of me than she's of you, so... Let us see who dies first. Seasons passed, and Azhabit spent less and less time at the court. She would visit Vienna only to see her children. She claimed that she was busy with the war, but slowly the rumor spread that she stayed at Cottage because of her evil practices. Witnesses later claimed that the dead girls were left in the woods around the castle, but most of the bodies were never found. Ajibit allegedly kept a precise record of every murder. Her journals were presented as the main proof against her at her trial, even though she denied ever having written them. My lord, perhaps what I'm doing is wrong. The blood has been giving me rashes of late. Maybe peasant blood is too rough for my skin. Darvulia has called for you. She's very ill. Poisoned by her own venom, no doubt. I do not wish to see her. Many girls are gone. I found a body last year in the forest. No blood left in her. There are demons in there. Maybe it is Bottery herself. You have to do something. Be sure you give it to the king himself. Ooh.
He betrayed the Countess. The King must not be informed. Stop that messenger, Janos. Hurry. <laughs> And Visagna left early, and one of your journals is missing. He will not come back now that he knows. I should send someone to kill that villain. Yes, it would be wise. I came to tell you that Wooly has died. She left a letter for you. My love, do not let another stranger into your castle. You have given them the weapons to destroy everything you have built. I shall miss only one thing of your world, which is no longer mine. Your soft kisses. I could have loved you always. Mary Jebet, you have gone too far. Everything that is alive must die, and you will too, no matter what you do. There is beauty in letting time do its duty. I wish to leave for Vienna and visit my children. Our general gets it soon. We need soldiers to protect us. An angry crowd can be more vicious than a pack of wolves.
Where is Janos? He's been gone for weeks. We sent him to get girls from far away. Give me a mirror. Give me a mirror! The blood is making me sick, but without it, I'm dying. Bring me a virgin. Even a boy. No. No boys. God created them in his image. This is the only girl we could find. She's not too healthy, but she is a virgin. How old are you, my sweet? Trevor, I think. You do not know? I was found, Countess. So you have no family? No. They feed me when I clean up the pigsty. Come. Paula. I remember you. Come. I wish to tell you something. Paula, run away. Run, leave this castle. Run, I will kill you! I will eat your life! Paula! After my father's death, I found records of large sums of money sent to Dominic Izaka, as well as a letter mentioning women of lower nobility who disappeared around that time. Where are you? I'm Cassia von Rosenheim, and my parents will find me and punish you for this. How old are you? Fifteen. Are you a virgin? Yes, of course. And you? How old are you? I'm 22, and I'm married. I am the Baroness von Krasch. I mm. will yeah, no, kill you. You have brought me a married woman. She's of no mm. use to me, and her husband would be looking for her. I would like to know why we have been brought here by force. I will punish the traitor myself who got us into this. Did you say crash? Yes. Trash, how lovely to meet you. And you are right. My husband will be looking for me. Not if I have a letter of farewell brought to him, confessing you ran away with your lover. You should found her, so is it not? You are mad. I've not seen Istvan in years. But I remember a rumor about an illustrious countess who had fallen madly in love with him. 
and gave herself to him so easily. Could you possibly be worshipped? <clears throat> Collect the blood before it is wasted. It is no menace to pull us out of bed in the middle of the night. I do not want to wait too long because... Smell. We are not sure how many have perished this way. Maybe hundreds over the past years. There's not a drop of blood left in the poor girl. Your mother has been using her hospital to justify the numerous deaths. I wish to visit mother and see for myself. This is just one of many. Would you wish to see more? Most of them were in much poorer shape. I'm not going. But you're the man, you must. I'm not going either. Well, I'm not going alone. <sighs> Your Majesty. There are reports that girls have been disappearing near Countess Butteris castle for a few years. Many peasants have come all the way to Vienna claiming that hundreds have died. So? The girls were tortured before their death. I see nothing wrong in that. And bled to death. Many are claiming Countess Buttery is assisted by witches and bloodthirsty demons. Witches and demons? The Countess Buttery involved in witchcraft? Possibly. Her strength always seemed unnatural. Her army mysteriously invincible. Probably driven by some spell. It's fascinating. A priest was found dead as well. If the Countess is proven to be guilty of using witchery, you will be cleared of your debt to her and can seize her estate. Send this. And I shall send men to investigate the murders at Cottage. Every month, I sign dozens of death warrants for those witches. It has become worse than the plague. When will it stop? When men become wise. But it will not be soon. The king has heard of the murders and suspects Bartry of witchcraft. We must send our men today. Your children signed the agreement. They were eager to get their share. The harpy will be charged with murder. But I assured her children that witchcraft will not be mentioned at her trial. So her estate cannot be seized by the king. It will allow her to bequeath her possessions to whomever she wishes. The king was going to hear of her doings soon enough, and her children would have been completely destitute. She has little choice but to sign this in order to protect her children. The agreement entitles you to take over her land and the extraordinary army she and her husband have raised over the years. I see you have doubts. But the truth is that hundreds of young women have died. Peasant girls at first, but noble women have vanished now also, right near her land. You used to know one of them. Yes. But why sent me? As I recall, you were once quite close to Countess Battery. As I recall, you were not very pleased about it. Why not send him? She would kill me. I believe you are the one to take care of this matter, my son. She is very cautious. It will be easier for you to approach her. Can I say no? No. You saw some of the girls I found near her castle. My body still bears the scars of a lunacy. Would you care to see? No. She is a murderess. Oh, 
everything taken care of before the king can get to Kodiche. This is for you, my son. After this, you will be the most powerful nun in the kingdom. After you? Of course. We are leaving today. Do not feel remorseful. She begged me to kill you not so long ago. And why did you not? She did not offer to pay me. It is strange to think that the hand that once stroked her will soon strike her. It will only strike her if she's guilty. You know which sin is worse? Murder or greed? We will soon find out. Hmm? In hell. Beware of her. She's mad. And she will try to kill you. see her doings with my own eyes before we arrest her. They will stay here until we send for them. Do not fear. She only has a few men protecting her. It's not the fear of facing a murderess that unsettles me. But the excitement of seeing her again, mixed with the sorrow of losing her forever. Horseman. Two horsemen riding towards us. Dorothea, my white dress. Hurry. Dear Count Turzo, what a surprise. After all this time, what has it been? Three years? Five. How quickly time flies. Yes. And let me ask you how you've been, milady. I have been quite busy with this awful war. So what brings you here? I was riding to Krakow when my companion pointed out your beautiful castle. I thought maybe we could stay one night. Or even a bit longer. I apologize about the flies. My men left a horse rotting outside the castle and we have not been able to get rid of them ever since. So you are married now? I was married for four years. My wife died one year ago, bearing our first child. It died soon after. I'm so sorry to hear that. She was the daughter of a powerful Danish merchant. My father needed new trading allies. I am truly happy about your visit, dear Istvan. I cannot tell you how often I have wished for this day to come. Born 20 years apart. It will not stop me from loving you. <sighs> Come to my room. I've had a long journey. Let me rest first, then I shall come to you. <sighs> I was so afraid you would say no. Why did you have to break my heart with that abominable letter? What did I write in any of my letters that could have possibly upset you? The one and only letter I received from you, confessing your love for the Baroness von Crash. 
Crouch used to be mine, but after I met you, I never saw her again. And I certainly never sent such a letter. My father... He must have written it in my name. How could I have doubted you? I wrongly trusted my valet to deliver the many letters I wrote to you, begging you to forgive me. But I was sent away by force. Let us be stronger than your father's desperate attempt to destroy a beautiful love. It is not too late. Come. No. Why not? Your hands are so cold. Why are you shaking, my love? It's the joy of seeing you again. Do you know how long I've been waiting for you? I almost lost my mind. There is nothing more painful than feeling betrayed by someone you love so deeply. I always promise myself to take revenge. When I saw you riding from afar, all my anger vanished and all I felt was love. No matter how much I cared for her, another part of me believed what I'd heard and seen. There was too much evidence, too many witnesses, for me to believe she could be innocent. disobeyed my father and escaped. Well, you didn't. So we will never know. Let us find out who she really is. Those flies tell me something not good that's been happening here. Master, you do not want to see this. A pile of rotting corpses. Dismembered children. Their eyes eaten by worms. The devil himself could not have been more effective. Battery, you are under arrest. The accomplices have confessed to all of the murders. The girls were bled to death in the cage. Azhabit's servants' confessions were made under torture. The Countess herself was absent from her own trial. It was decided to hide her uncontainable madness and thus to protect her name. Death by strangulation is what the shrews deserve. No! No! As for that creature, decapitation.
Countess Bartry is condemned to be walled up inside her bedroom for life. A small opening will be left to provide food and water. No mirrors will be left in the room in order to punish the Countess for her vanity. Many witnesses have testified to the murders and the atrocities committed by the Countess and her accomplices. Bodies were found around Codice Castle, some of them partially eaten by the Countess. Also found were the journals written by Countess Bartery herself, documenting the murders in detail, as well as letters from Davulia the witch, heretical books, and finally the cage she tortured the girls in. Even if it seems the Countess may not have practiced witchcraft, we do have one witness who has confirmed that he saw her copulating with the devil himself. All evidence will be destroyed per the decision of Count Turzo in order to keep the Countess's name as untainted as possible. By signing this document, the Countess bequeaths all her possessions to Count Gheorghi Turzo. Codice will be ceded to her children. The King is now cleared of any debts to the Bartery Nodashi family. Now, if the devil allows you to, sign this. You have orchestrated this masterfully, I must say. You have murdered innocent women. Hundreds. Lies. How many innocents have been sacrificed in your pursuit of wealth? Your obduracy and persistence in denying the truth only confirms that you are now bereft of reason. Unfortunately not. I will go to my grave completely sane. <laughs> your tale merely confirms that women are mad and vain and should not be given the right to rule. Your fable will keep the populace occupied for a very long time. They will be terrified of the bloodthirsty myth that you have made of me, and forget about evils that are indeed very real. Cursed Asher, but if it was not for me, you would have been burnt at the stake. My gratitude for sparing me a quick death. And if it were not for you, I would have never felt love. Eternal love. Is it not strange to think, as I stand here today, sentenced to die alone, so many lovers are warm in each other's arms? Proceed. God, you have abandoned me. In war, hundreds are killed and tortured, and they are left there to rot and feed the vultures. And yet we glorify our warriors. We give them laurel wreaths and honors. But all I get is torment. I cannot be humiliated this way. Give me an illness that will kill me fast. I cannot do it myself. I must go to heaven. God, perhaps you are trying my faith. Perhaps you are punishing me because I loved him more than I love you. Man has created God in his image, which gives him dominance over everything else. Birds, lions, trees, and women. 
I wish I had been born a man. I would have killed thousands in battle, taken over countries, burned witches. I would have been a hero. That is it. You're nothing but a myth. The Greeks created gods for everything. Because they could not figure out why the sea, why love, why death. Now we have created you to appease and feed our fears and ignorance. Because we have so many questions and so few answers. I have used you in prayers to forgive myself for my horrible sins. A proper burial or feeding the wolves is the same thing. Holy water is just dirty water. Why am I so scared to die? Because I do not believe in you or in the eternity of the soul. When I die, I shall rot and nothing will be left of me. Love is the dagger that stabbed me in the back. If you're not a myth, Absolve me of my sins and give me blood to keep me young. I thank you, my lord. Often. It was a very cold winter. There's no wood left. Look, her legs. Uh, I don't want to touch her. She's been dead for weeks. Earth to earth. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. History is a tale told by the victors, and that is what is left of her. A tale of a mad murderess and a bloodthirsty devil. Was she really guilty of all the murders, if any? Or did my father fabricate most of the evidence? There is nothing in this world you can be certain of. All I know is, whatever she was, whatever crime she might have been guilty of, I loved her deeply. And I believe she loved me. But history does not concern itself with that. The truth has been sealed behind a brick wall. And time will soon bury us all. <laughs>